Well, good evening, everyone. It is 9 p.m. and time for some healing, time for some clearing, time for some meditation, time for who knows what else. And as always, I ask you, as I do at the beginning of every night, what have you done today to make tomorrow a better place for you to live? So good evening, Mary Griffin and Lisa Garrett. Wonderful to see you. Matthew Cup, always great to see you come in. Uh, I see my friend, uh, let's see here. My friend Craig is also on here tonight. So welcome, 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 everyone. Jackie, great to see you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's begin, as always, with some big, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And as we breathe in, breathing in fresh oxygen, fresh energy, fresh love, fresh light, breathing out all stress, all anxiety, all fear, anger, dis-ease. And just bringing ourselves into the present moment, into this moment. The past is already gone. The future's not here yet. All we have is this very moment. Just breathing in and out. And as we breathe in and out, let's begin to think about something we want to clear on. And it can be anything. It can be health, it can be money, it can be business, it can be relationships, it can be travel, it can be uh, the weather, it can be politics, whatever it is you want uh, within your own life, whatever it is that, that you want to clear on, because ideally you're the one who's clearing on you, so you're the only one who needs to know. And as we do that, we want to kind of bring it into the present moment. We want to um, clear on it as if it's already happened. We want to feel it, hear it, smell it, taste it, um, see it, whatever else we have. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. <laughs> but yeah, we want to use all of our senses and bring it down into our heart. And we want to feel it in our heart and, uh, and just really try to see how it makes you feel both before doing the clearing and after doing the clearing so that you can kind of tell for yourself what's going on and uh, when we talk about the clearing of course we're talking about the four phrases of Ho'oponopono which are I'm sorry please forgive me thank you and I love you and by using these four phrases, we're saying, I'm sorry for all of the data or memory that I've brought into this particular existence and this particular moment in time. Um, I'm sorry for my perceptions, whatever perceptions I have that are not uh, seeing the truth per se. Um, sorry for, um, my goodness, I'm sorry for whatever it is in me that's causing whatever's going on out in my uh, in my experience so these are the things that we're talking about the next one please forgive me well for the same reasons we're saying hey I'm acknowledging by saying I'm sorry so hey Harry please forgive me source please forgive me and then thank you and we're having gratitude for doing the practice. You're saying, hey, thank you for taking 100% responsibility for what's going on in your life. And thank you for, uh, for doing this practice. Thank you for taking action. And then finally, I love you. And you know, when I talk about I love you, I talk about it in two places. One, just being able to walk, wake up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I love you and have your heart expand and open up and really um, uh, really feel that love, 
feel that internal love, that pure love for yourself. And um, then the next thing is saying, I love you for doing the practices. Um, you know, uh, I love you for taking 100% responsibility. I love you for taking action. So here we go with the four phrases. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Good evening, Elaine. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And as we're saying these phrases, you might even feel like things just begin to fall off the body. And I say that because that's just what happened to me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Wow. So many emotions coming up tonight as I chant those four phrases. And I probably could have gone another 10 minutes and just repeated those for the whole night but we will move on and we'll do some chanting. We will chant the Ganesha mantra to begin with, Ganesha being the remover of obstacles. So we're chanting to remove even more obstacles, clear even more than what we just did with the Ho'oponopono phrases. So here we go. Om Gam Ganapateya Namaha. Om Gam Ganam 
so merry, you said 108 times. And for these meditations, um, that would be a bit time prohibitive. But if there's one of the mantras that you want me to chant 108 times, I would be more than happy to go live at some point and uh, chant 108 times of any of these mantras. Um, if you're willing to come and sit here and, and listen and chant with me, then I'm happy to do it. So pick any one of the mantras that we've been working on and I'll be happy to do 108 times of any of them. But next we're going to go into the Om Mani Padme Hum Mantra. Om the jewel in the lotus hum. And we chant this because um, we think about the lotus and we think about... Um, we think about the fact that our lives parallel that lotus. Because like the lotus, we grow up through the dirt, through the mud, through the water, uh, up into the air, and we blossom into a beautiful flower. In this case, a beautiful lotus. And inside that lotus, there's a jewel, the Mani jewel, the consciousness jewel. And this is the jewel that takes us into our higher self, into our awakened state, into our enlightened state. So we spend our lifetime um, cultivating this jewel, polishing this jewel, um, putting energy into this jewel, enlightening this jewel. So, uh, so here we go. Oh, money, bed me home. Sorry, let me get some water. Mm. begin to chant the Medicine Buddha Mantra and we chant the Medicine Buddha Mantra and we ask the Medicine Buddha, the Master Healer, the Master Doctor to heal our physical body, our mental body, our spiritual body, heal the earth, the sky, the heavens, all humans, all animals, all insects, all spirits, all beings on all planes of existence. Samun Gate Soha 
sitting meditation. Go ahead and adjust your posture. Breathe deep and just feel your body completely relax, completely letting go. As you begin to close your eyes and breathe in and out, begin to open up your crown. And as you do, begin to take some deep breaths in from the crown, from heaven, breathing all the way down into your lower dantian, your lower abdomen. And as you breathe out, breathe out all the way down through the bottom of your feet into the earth. Breathing in from heaven, breathing out into the earth, in, out. And now as you breathe in from heaven, and out into the earth. This time, breathe back up from the earth into the lower dantian, the lower abdomen. And breathe out into heaven. And back in from heaven into the lower abdomen and out into the earth. Up from the earth. Out into heaven. Heaven and earth breathing. As you do this, you're cleansing and clearing all of your organs, tissues, muscles, bones. Breathing in from heaven. Breathing out into the earth.
and in from the earth and out into heaven. So just continue to do this practice, doing heaven and earth breathing during our 20 minute meditation. And we'll see you at the end of our meditation.
Just take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, bringing your awareness back into the present moment. Go ahead and gently begin to open your eyes. And as always, my deep gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the action to be here every night, taking action to clear, to clean, to empower, to meditate. All of these things, building an entire practice. Just think about this. We do a 45 minute to hour practice almost seven nights a week. Uh, most weeks, it's seven nights, but a couple of times we have to miss. Um, but many of you have been doing this since uh, March, so over six months now. So it's a beautiful thing. So you've brought yourself into a better practice, into a better space. And I'm truly grateful that you've taken that time. I'm grateful for those of you who sponsor these meditations. I'm grateful that you come and you're just a part of this with each other and that you've been building this community. So until tomorrow night, know that I have deep, deep, deep love for each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you at 9 p.m. Central tomorrow night. I love you. Be well, be happy, be healthy, and stay blessed. Good night, everyone. Good night, Dell. <laughs>